Yo, what's good? This is Vega from TheCryptOnline.com saying what's up. Uh, you know the name, you know the face, you know the finger, all that shit, all right? Um, the reason we're doing this video blog today is because we got a couple interesting emails. One from my web host, two from Baby Grand Records. Um, the one from my web host was a DMCA violation, okay? Basically saying that we are in violation of copyright infringements. Okay, understandable, especially with the shit that we do. So the second email is from Baby Grand Records, kind of confirming that and letting us know that they want something that we have on our website taken down. Now, when I tell you this, the first thing that probably comes to mind is, oh, this dude is putting up music that he probably shouldn't, you know? Which makes sense, but that is not the case. The reason they sent us this, this letter is because they want an interview taken down from our website. Granted, the interview wasn't done by us, thecryptonline.com. It was done by Chasey and Chuck Wilson. Chasey, the form webmaster of Baby Grand Records and babygrand.com, conducted an interview with Chuck Wilson prior or right when Jedi Mind Tricks was leaving the label over a year ago. Okay, we're talking 15, 14 months ago. Okay. Now, in this interview, there was two parts. Okay, two parts interview. Now, in the first part of the interview, was done really classy, in my opinion, by Chuck Wilson to a T. Basically, giving his history about his label, about his work, and kind of how he got into it and how he got the ball rolling all these guys now in part two of the interview it seemed to get a little more personal with Vinny Paz and Jedi Mind Tricks because this is when Vinny Paz was trying to get out and Jedi Mind Tricks was trying to get out of Baby Grand and it didn't end nicely it seems now in during this time right there was like I said, two interviews conducted with Chuck Wilson, supposedly going to be three, but that third interview never came out. Now, you can see the first part of the interview at Baby Grand Records, at babygrand.com forums, okay? Posted publicly for everyone to read. Part two was the same. You could read it publicly on the web forums, posted by a forum member, Chase C, who's also supposed to be the webmaster. Now, there's nothing saying there that this interview is copywritten, that you need permission to post this anywhere else. That's not the case. It's a web form. People post their opinions and their views and their shit there about everything, okay? Baby Grand Records forums are really into stifling you from speaking against their label, speaking about people who used to be on their label, maybe even talking about Jedi Mind Tricks now. I don't know the case, okay? But they've done this before in the past, and that's straight up, okay? That's not me being an asshole. They, they've deleted my post before, all right, for speaking against them or, or saying stuff that they didn't like. Now, when I took these interviews, okay, I wanted to put them on my website, you know, not for just traffic or whatever. I don't give a shit about traffic. I don't even know what kind of traffic my website gets, okay? I, I'm not... I'm not a guy who sits back and looks at that shit. I'm also not a guy who knows anything about that shit. I run a website, and I own a website, but that doesn't mean I know what I'm doing, okay? What I do is I put music out there and information out there about underground music, underground film, underground lifestyle, street culture, for people to know and educate themselves on, to get the word out, you know what I mean? It feels good when someone comes on to me and says, Vega, you're the man I would have never heard about. I had a kid who who became a rapper after I sent him MF Doom songs, you know, like a, like eight years ago, and he, 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 he writes me and says, dude, you're the man. I would have never been an MC today if you would not put me onto this great music. You know what I mean? I wouldn't be the guy I am today because of me. Okay. What I wanted to do was get both perspectives of these guys, Chuck Wilson and Vinny Paz. I wanted to be fair. I wanted you to read the Vinnie Paz interview. Who was done by? I don't know. I doubt that Jedi Mind Tricks and Enemy Soul Records will try to shut me down, okay? Or send me a DMCA violation, all right? They want to get their word out there. 
what upsets me is I'm trying to be a nice guy and give both perspectives so you, the viewer, can see who's the villain in this or who's not the villain, who's the hero, or neither. Maybe neither's to blame, okay? Like I said, people have relationships, they have friendships, and they have business, all right? Those three things, they fail all the time. Friendships are lost. Relationships are ruined. In business, could stop. And what happens when all that shit goes on? You find a new friend, you find and get a new relationship, and you get a new business. You find a new job. For some reason or another, this information, part two of that of that interview was taken off babygrand.com forums. It's abolished, it's gone. You can't even scour the internet. You can Google Chuck Wilson interview, and our website's the one that pops up. You can find a million other things on there, Chuck Wilson interview, but none of them are to that interview. Those two parts. Like I said, there's only one part that's on the internet right now. Something shady is going on, you know what I mean? Our website doesn't make any money off traffic, off advertising. We don't have any ads. We're probably the only hip-hop blog on the internet that doesn't have any ads, who's not trying to make any money, who isn't trying to screw the end user, okay? But these guys have it in for us for, some, for one reason or another. They don't, want to, they don't want their shit to be heard. They put it out there, and now they don't want it out there. Now they're scared. Fuck them. Fuck Baby Grand Records. Don't buy their shit. Don't support their shit. If you have their records, good. Keep them. But you know what? If you, you don't have them, don't go out and buy them. Don't support their shit. I'm sure soon enough, Jenna and Mindtricks will get their back catalog and they'll be able to, you'll be able to hear that shit again on Enemy Soul Records or elsewhere. Stay away from these guys. They're fucking poisonous and they're, they're shady. They're businessmen. They're corporate. They're scumbags. Okay? This is Vega from the CryptOnline.com saying peace. Alright?